When acceleration is comprised of typically four optimization techniques or areas. Um, we're talking about traffic shaping, which implies that you're making the most of the utilization of your bandwidth by assigning prioritization to your applications, your business critical applications. That implies setting up what's called quality of service mechanisms, and that aligns that to your business needs and the bandwidth consumption at a per site level. The next type is called caching, and caching is then effectively using re replicated data by site, and therefore making it more localized. Instead of it being at the far away location location where you're pulling from the server, you're actually making it appear that you're pulling information locally. And therefore, it's optimizing the time to which that replicated information is pulled. For example, if we go to Microsoft.com and we're constantly clicking on the same link, the information is cached and kept in place. And therefore, it seems that it's faster response time, unless a new update comes through. Therefore, that will have contact with the server. The third type of optimization is called compression. And this is the one where business Businesses get the most gain out of having bandwidth and not having to up bandwidth, uh, upgrade bandwidth rapidly. Rather, they look at how they can use the most of the bandwidth by compressing traffic types. Now, some data can be compressed and others cannot, like real-time traffic, like phone calls, video sessions. These are typically fixed on bandwidth size. But things like document attachments and emails, um, other business critical with uh, different types of applications like SAP, which might have uh, data that can be compressed, it will compress it upwards of 50% on average and save customers a lot of, of money on cost on bandwidth upgrades. The last one is called protocol optimization. And this is the one, this is where we're taking advantage of different vendor technologies technologies or vendors in this space who can support applications that are just not supported by the network. So, for example, email today is using several uh, different types of protocols like SIFS or MAPI. And SIFS or MAPI are, are just basic acronyms which are supporting messaging services like from Microsoft or like Lotus Notes where you go out and you're sending uh, emails between different sites and you have to go through a server to get to that site and then back through the server to get the response, just the acknowledgement that you sent the email to go to the site. What happens is, is that the optimization is done, again, locally or at the server side when they see an e email application come through, which is typically chatty between application requests. They'll know it's the same person or the same type of request and then use a form of caching so that it's optimized and it, it then increases the speed for the email to be sent through. The other type is file services, and file services is part of protocol op optimization. You're again using the mechanisms like you would have for caching, and again having files that are consistently uh, requested from a further distance server location, localizing that information using a, an optimization box, a vendor box that can localize the files there, and then we'll have a replication seem like it's not replicated, but it's a faster response for them when they pull files down. And those are the kinds of optimization that are comprised within a WAN acceleration uh, solution. Now, there are several different vendors in this space, and there are ones that are typically do very well at this, such as Riverbed, such as Juniper. Uh, Cisco has a solution called WAS, and those are all different. Uh, they all have different ways of doing things, but they're essentially trying to achieve the same objective as providing improved performance of applications using acceleration techniques.